Hey guys, how y'all doing? This is Red Rover, also known as Flum James on the PSN Network. I have some exciting news to share with everyone watching this, but first a little background. Around 2007, I completed a movie script that was meant to be the backbone of an independent, low-budget movie I wanted to make. I got married that year and shortly after became the father of an awesome boy. A few years later my wife popped out a second boy and lo and behold all my time got swallowed by work and family responsibilities so the script got shelved. Around a year ago I started to dabble in stop motion animation and it was my aim to animate the film myself. I calculated that the project would take me roughly two years to animate, man alone, and if time got added for editing, sound effects, special effects and some other trimmings I may see a result around 2017. I am way too impatient for that. So I waited until my schedule opened up and another avenue for completing the project presented itself. Where are you going? In the meantime, I roped in some voice actors and I had every single line in the movie recorded and edited. I got some stunning voice performances out of the guys and then in October 2013, I got GTA 5. And slowly but surely, I started to see the potential in grabbing gameplay footage and turning it into the live action sequences needed to complete the film. As you can see here in this video, I have been scouting for locations for a while now. I have found many spots that, you know, it's either perfect for the film or as close to perfect as I can get. The only real problems that I saw was that you can't draw weapons inside apartments and houses really. So we're going to have to try and work around that. I dabbled with many ways to shoot certain scenes and found at least a few very good perspectives that will work fantastically well for the purpose. I would have liked to have been the main character in the film, but due to me directing the film and having to plan the shooting of it, it will be near impossible to do so without making the movie seem very tacky. So the lead role is up for grabs, along with quite a few others. Anyone interested in lending their time for a few days to record the footage, here's what you need to have or what you need to know. 1. You need to be playing GTA 5 online on the PS3 currently. You need to like playing GTA 5 online because we are going to be doing it for quite a few days in succession. 2. You need to be at least a level 30 character and over. This is purely because of the unlock system and the higher ranked players that will have access to very cool items such as much needed clothing, hair, beards, headwear items that most other lower ranked players won't have. This is absolutely crucial guys. Each person wanting to become involved must be able to dedicate a few days in succession to filming. We will be shooting for around 4-5 to five hours at a time. If it sounds too long, speak to me and we can cut it down to three hours. It's up for discussion. I need two hours of extremely good usable footage to complete this project. You must be able to understand and speak English properly. I know I speak with an accent, so I don't expect others not to. But at the very least, I don't believe myself to be totally incomprehensible. I would prefer you to be on the same timeline as most of Europe or the UK, as that is the timeline I am on, but it is in no way a deal breaker. If you have the time during your daytime to allocate to this project, while it's night time over here, you are more than welcome to throw your name in the hat. You will die many, many times, either in the process of making it to a specific location or by cops killing you or while shooting. No pun intended. You must not be the kind of person that gets butt hurt over dying. I would prefer the players helping out with this specific project to become part of the Red Rover gaming crew. I would love to be able to create many more gameplay videos with everyone in the future, as well as other shorter films if need be. It is always better to play with someone you trust and got to know quite well. Preferably, Everyone needs to have a headset so that feedback can be given based on instructions I am giving out for the shoots. You need to be a pleasant person. We are going to spend quite some virtual time in each other's company and we need to get along quite well. 
I get along well with others, but I need everyone to be the same. You need to be able to dress your character accordingly and keep your character dressed like that for the entire duration of the film as to ensure continuity. That goes for hats, hair and shoes as well. At no point must armor or parachute show on the backs of your characters. I need at least one female character. She needs to be hot as hell. Preferably a brunette. She's the lead character's love interest and a former stripper. I know it sounds corny, um, but didn't I say that this game is perfect for footage, huh? huh? In return, each person will receive a credit in the film as the animator for that character along with a voice actor's name. Unfortunately, there cannot be any monetary compensation for this as we probably can't make any money off this film seeing as the footage sort of belongs to Rockstar. It will be an epic project that once completed will give everyone that, will, that got involved a huge amount of satisfaction. There will be drama, guns, cars, love and a lot of anger and witty dialogue. Violence galore. My email. It's very important. Make a note of this. Red Rover Gaming at gmail.com If you can email me your PSN ID, a pic of your game character, I mean, a phone snap from your TV will work just fine. Your character level, your location, and your real name. I will work through the submissions and get back to you guys once all the characters got sourced. We need a male lead. He must be blonde. We need a female lead, a brunette, and hot as hell. We need another male lead, about 50 years old or so. If you have access to a grey or white beard and hair, it'll be awesome. Then we need three henchmen, tattooed and dressed quite differently so that they can be easily distinguished from each other. But we can sort those out as we go along as well as the rest of the smaller roles. I will sit with a copy of the script next to me and we will nail each scene in succession. No matter who will be in what shot, we will all trek across the map in a private game to go shoot there. Once a shot is completed, we move on. If need be, we get ourselves a cargo bob or two and transport everyone quickly and efficiently across the map so as to cut time. So there you have it. That's what I need. Who's with me? I will be waiting for your mails. Red Rover, over.